Hello everybody, my name is Ryan. I'm the head instructor here at Paddler Co-op. Today we're gonna to talk about outfitting ourselves into some boats. The first thing we do when we pull a boat out of our gear room is make sure that it fits our members well because we want a nice fitting boat so that we're feeling comfy in the water. So here we go, we're gonna grab a boat and I'll show you how we get people comfy in these things. So the first thing we want to do is assess a boat that's going to be the proper fit for the height and weight of our paddlers. I'm uh, just about six foot, 155, so a medium sized coat here is going to be perfect for me. So I'm going to hop in first thing and just see how it fits in the seat. So what I want to do is make sure that I'm kind of like nicely seated in here. I've got sort of three points of contact in the seat. My bum is well supported, my hips are well supported, and then my uh, sort of lower back is well supported here. So we've got some adjustments we can make. Probably the best thing for a first timer is just to loosen everything off so they can get nice and comfy fit in there. And then we'll start tightening things up. So these back bands, I've loosened it off. Now I'm just gonna kind of sit in a comfortable upright, just a little bit forward position. And I wanna make sure that I can cinch the back band up. It's not a back rest, but I just want a little bit of support so that my lower back has got a little bit of support there. And if I need to lean back, then all of a sudden I'm engaging the boat and I can pull my knees, lift the bow up. The next thing I wanna make sure is that the hips are nice and tight. Fortunately, these are snug. If they aren't, what we can do is add some shims in on the sides if we need to. And the way we do that is just with some pre-cut slices of foam, we can open these hip pads up and slide them in. We've already got one in here and it seems to work for me, so that's good for right now. And then the last thing, is making sure that the foot locks, the bulkhead, is uh, appropriately distanced so that I'm not sandwiched into the boat, but I do have a point of contact for my feet to push against. And the way we check that for fit is by sitting in the boat, putting our knees out and up into the thigh braces. And I like keeping my heels together with my toes pointed outwards. That way it allows my knees to push outward and I want to make sure that I, I like a little bit of room so I can push my toes forwards. Um, and so this actually feels quite good. If we needed to adjust it, if it was say too far forwards and my feet weren't touching anything, then on the side of the inside of this boat, we've got some adjustment screws that we can use to adjust the foot blocks. So we've got one screw on one side, one screw on the other. Some older boats might have two screws, but the way we adjust that is just by unscrewing the nut, lifting the rail and sliding it forwards or backwards as we need it. So we've got our foot blocks appropriately uh, sized there. I've got a little bit of wiggle room, so I'm comfortable, but I have still got something to push my toes against so I can really kind of lock myself in, feel nice and secure in this boat. The last piece is this big stern. If I were to swim, it fills up with water. It's really heavy for a rescue. Um, so what I've got in my boat here is some airbags. You can kind of take a look. These airbags are sort of an underthought, but um, definitely you can't say enough good things about the benefit that they add. They displace a bunch of the water, so if we're swimming, this boat can't fill up nearly as much uh, with water, which just reduces the odds of a pin when swimming, and then it also makes it a lot easier for a boat over boat rescue. Uh, the last thing, of course, is making sure that our drain plug is there uh, and it's nice and secure. And besides that, this boat is perfectly outfitted, so we're ready to take it for a spin. If you want to learn more about outfitting or just general getting into whitewater, you can visit our website, paddlercoop.ca, or give us a call to learn more. We run lots of introductory courses, and we'd be happy to help get you on the water in a safe and enjoyable way. Thanks for watching.